Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we will be doing a Radeon settings guide optimization. Now for you guys with NVIDIA cards, I will do one for NVIDIA if you guys want, but we're gonna be doing AMD first. I am a Rainbow Six Siege channel, so all of these have been tested with Rainbow Six in mind. However, this works across all games. I play a lot of Warzone, I play a lot of Apex, I play a lot of different games, so don't worry about that. These work across the board and they will maximize your FPS no matter what. If you've watched my video on the Rainbow Six Siege best settings, which was about a week ago from when I'm posting this one. You've done a few of these things. However, some things change with Radeon. Some things are different depending on what if you're NVIDIA or Radeon or AMD. So take note of that. So let's hop into some a few Windows optimizations that we could do. And then mostly we're going to be sticking in the Radeon software itself. So the first thing you want to do since you are on an AMD card, you're going to come up here and you need to type in game mode okay it should show up here game mode settings once you go to this it should be on usually i think it's usually on for most people however with amd cards the difference in frames is maybe one or two maybe max sometimes it drops below it really doesn't do a thing in my opinion and stutters seem to happen with amd cards I've been testing this with some games if I have stutters. I don't have the highest end PC like some people do. But for me, I, if I turn this off, the stutters just go away. So if you are stuttering ever, turn that off. If not, you could just have it off if you want because it really doesn't make a difference. All it does really is raise your temps, of course, because it's pushing it more harder and can cause stutters. So for me, that's a no-go. Next thing you want to do, come up here and hit graphic settings. It should pop up here and you'll see things here if you've already done this before however if you have not you're going to want to add games to this so i could show you this here so for this i have a thing called call of duty black ops cold war this is the actual file you just have to find the file of any single game that you have here find the application double click that and then hit options and bring that to high performance once again this is another just few frames here and there in some situations but more than anything it's just optimizing your pc to get ready for gaming now once you've done that we're going to head into radeon settings we don't need to do any crazy things in windows windows this is as far as i'm going to go with you guys here of course you could clear out files and do all this and that's going to improve your frames however i'm not assuming you want to delete everything but the game on your pc so we're going to assume that and i would just recommend doing these two things that i showed you here next thing you want to do is you're going to need radeon obviously so if you don't have that already you're going to have to go up here click on the link that i sent you it is in the description down below this link and it will auto detect what software you need with your system so all you have to do is just hit download now this is the official website. Don't worry, no uh, viruses or anything like that. This is the official AMD website. If you have an AMD card or even a Ryzen chipset, you just hit download now and it will get you this Radeon platform right here. If you've never seen this before, then you are definitely behind. But the first thing you wanna do, you wanna come up here to the settings menu, look over here and just make sure you are up to date. The next thing you're gonna wanna do, you're gonna wanna probably hit recommended only. Now, if you do optional, the optional ones, they give you the beta ones as well. And sometimes those have glitches. So I've noticed, I just want to do recommended only they're the most optimized ones past their beta phases so i like the fully released versions I also will check this to be automatic and also make this enabled so it automatically downloads the recommended. This isn't going to download all the betas, but it'll automatically download what's ready. If you don't download to the greatest one, you might see performance issues and you got to test this out. Make sure you are fully up to date here. If you need to check that, just hit check for update and then here you go. You could also just go to home tab and then hit check for updates and that will do the same thing for you. Now into the optimization for this, you're going to want to hit gaming. Okay, this is where we're going to spend most of our time. You can, of course, go by every individual game if you would like but that um, sounds like no fun to me some games don't even show up on here so i like to go to global graphics we're gonna go graphics then display and then hit some performance things so with global graphics we go down here and you have these presets gaming esports power savings and standard you could just hit an esports and you'll probably be okay but we're going to optimize it even further. So the first thing you want to check, no matter which one you're on, is anti-lag. This is the best for esports. If you're trying to get the fastest input delay, this is uh, one that you need to check off. This is going to give you the edge over the opponents. Radeon Chill. This is something that is sometimes enabled on power savings mode, but you're going to want this off. What this is going to do is limit your FPS, and we don't want that when we're doing e uh, esports. Radeon Boost is one of the newer settings here, and I would recommend having it disabled. I have yet to find a game that this actually works on. If you click on the little question, question mark here you can see that it says only works in supported games i've yet to find one where this actually makes a difference so i keep this off no need to add anything unnecessary image sharpening is one that you're going to want to have on if you are on a say laptop a gaming laptop with a lower resolution monitor turn this up higher this is going to make your resolution look really really better than it is so i would keep it above 70 if you're on like a 
cheaper display. However, whenever I'm running a higher display resolution on my desktop, I like to run this under 50. Personally, 40 to 30 depends on the game. Really, I adjust this actually, but I have been with 40 recently on Rainbow Six at least. So these two are V-Sync. You're going to want this off for sure. So turn this off and vertical refresh. You're going to want this to be off as well. Always off. So next up, we could go down here and you'll see this advanced tab there. So you're going to go there and this is where you make some real changes. So for anti-aliasing, keep this as use application settings. These two don't matter because you're going to be using application settings. Then as for your filtering, you want this disabled. This is entirely for performance. However, as it says, improves texture clarity. I haven't seen it once improve texture clarity at all. If anything, I can just change the settings in game. And I've noticed with every game that I've tested this on, changing the in-game setting does less to your frames than changing the AMD setting. So that is what I would recommend for that. As for your texture filtering quality, you're going to want this turned on to performance. Even though this says that it's in all global, it actually is only going to affect you when you're in game because it only affects global X applications. So you won't have to worry about this whenever you're just like chilling on your uh, YouTube or whatever you are doing. Next thing, surface format optimization. You want to have this on. This lets it override the actual game settings and give you better performance. So that is why you're going to want to have that enabled. Tessellation mode, this is something that you're going to want to turn off. This has no visual effect. It might have very little if you really look closely. However, I would not do it for the frame. So override application, just turn it off. Open GL, you want open GL triple buffering disabled. This is another form of V-Sync. There's a lot on this. 10 pixel format, you're going to want this disabled for most monitors. Basically, you're going to know if you're going to want this enabled and you probably don't. Lastly, GPU workload and reset shader cache. So GPU workload, you're going to want to just have this on graphics and you're also going to want to come down here and hit a perform reset. Now you might not need it, but I would just reset this. Are you sure you want to clear the shader cache? Yes, hit OK. And this is going to clear all of the shaders through your whole entire game. Every single game that you play. And this is really going to help out your graphics card. And this is going to clean up the PC a bit because this will clear out anything from previous games that you once played. Now that we're done with graphics, though, we're going to move on to display. OK, so you're going to have however many displays you have. I have two displays, so I'm going to go to the one that I'm gaming on. Display number two. Basically, everything on this side, you're going to want to disable, except if you are trying to stretch your screen a lot and the game doesn't actually have a stretching thing so if you're playing like CSGO you might want to go here hit enable and then you can uh, change your scaling mode however for most people especially if you're playing on native or native settings inside of the game have that disabled next thing you want to come over here this is going to be one that I actually usually like to go into the game color because I want to go into the individual games because every game I like a different amount of saturation on this so saturation is something that you're gonna to want to add on most things here so now that we're in here we could do this globally of course as well but I like to do it per game so all this stuff we want to have it off okay off global settings disabled disabled and the thing you will want to change most likely is your color so the thing that I like to change here I don't mess with my temperature because I like the temperature on my uh, monitor already so I don't change that but however I will change the saturation some games I like it at 200 depends on the darkness of the game this is going to be uh this is basically going to depend on game on rainbow six i don't like it all the way at 200 most of the time i like to keep it a little bit lower but on warzone that's a game that i like it on 200 it makes the game look really good even on low settings that's how i could do low settings because the game doesn't look like crap because i'm able to add saturation which ends up making my game look better than most yeah, and ultimately at the end of the day as for global you could change this but this is going to change how everything looks even if you're on like google as you guys can see or maybe you can't because obs changes it for you but if i turn this all the way down it's black and white if i turn it all the way up this is very very bright for my desktop i like to boost it up a little bit but uh, i more so worry about in game per game Last things we're going to want to look at, we're going to want to go over here and look at video. Okay, if you want to change this, this is this is something you got to test for yourself. But enhanced looks pretty good if you want to try that out. This has nothing to do with gaming. However, this is in the AMD panel. So that's why we're going over that. If you want to test these, just hit demo mode and see side by side. For time sake, we're not going to do that. However, we are going to skirt all the way over to general. If you'd like to see your performance, you can come down here, hit in-game overlay in general here, hit in on, show metrics overlay. So if you turn this on, this is going to pop up here, and this is going to basically give you everything you need to know about your CPU, RAM, GPO, basically. Just check out your entire computer, see how it's running, see how much power it's using, see how much utilization it has going on. Personally, I don't mess with that. I just have my frame rate on per game, so I don't personally like this, but it's also cool if you want to see things uh, occasionally, if you want to see where you're bottlenecking 
so on and so forth. Lastly, if you want to see your performance, you hit over this performance tab and this is how you could test how hard your GPU, CPU, VRAM, everything is working and it's going to show it in this very pretty format. Also, if, if you do decide that you do want to overclock, you're going to have to come over here and hit overclock GPU. Now, I'm not going to go into that because I believe that overclocking your GPU is not smart if you are definitely not wanting to spend new money on a new GPU. Overclocking anything completely bypasses the warranty, so just be wary of that. I will not be overclocking this GPU, nor will I recommend you overclocking as well. If you are really pushing performance, though, and don't care if you have to upgrade, go for it. Go ahead and do that. It's really self-explanatory once you get into that. However, just be safe with that. Anyways, here are your AMD settings for 2021. Hopefully this helped you out. Hopefully this wasn't too weird either. If you guys are from my Rainbow Six, I appreciate you for watching this video. And if you are new, I'm branching out of Rainbow Six a little bit. So feel free to subscribe. There's going to be plenty of fresh content on this channel and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.